going? I thought I was getting a ride. From who? From you. What? What the f***? <laughs> nah. <laughs> How I come in a car? I had some... Don't get... <laughs> Don't get me mad. What? <laughs> Dude, oh, stop. Yo, stop. Hey, bro, keep that camera running and kick ass out that car. Okay? We already seen what happened to Jonathan Majors. Get her out that car immediately. Because this right here, boy, the moment that car moved, you liable for getting kidnapping charges, assault charges. Yeah, boy. I ain't gonna lie, that looks kind of scary. Yeah. I didn't know it was a baby at first. <laughs> that looked kind of scary, dog. Yeah. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Imagine you walking through your house at night, no lights on. And and little baby come crawling like this, running towards you. Say you're not gonna be scared. I know I'm gonna be scared. No little white song, huh? Go in the bathroom, go take your clothes off, get in the shower, and come eat some. Yo, why she slapped him like that? What that? How you get treated when you don't pay no bills? <laughs> you know what? If you if y'all living together and you as a man ain't paying no bills, you deserve to get treated like that. Especially if that's your girl. But all these other skeezers who want you to donate to their cause, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Been single for six years. Six. Now I know what some of y'all probably thinking. How? Why? What made you do that? You gonna die alone? <laughs> I get it. I get it. But I've been single for six years, and of course it was about choice. Y'all know that. You know what I mean? I ain't, got, I ain't never got a problem finding a man. Mm, yeah. But for me, I wanted to take the man out of the equation. For a little while. And I wanted to just be single. And just be in my own energy. And spend time with myself. You know. And, and that time has lasted for six years. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I've been having a good time. Do you hear me? It's been a good time. It's been a good time. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those women that don't need a man. I need one of y'all. Because let me tell you something. I had to change the flush master on my toilet. Do you see these nails? <laughs> I don't have no business digging in the damn toilet. To try to, to try to change the damn flush master. I had to YouTube it. But anyhow, I have been enjoying, you know, being single. And I have been really um, selfish. You know, I've been selfish with my time, with my energy. You know, just selfish with myself. I just, I didn't want to share me for a while. And I think that should be okay for a lot of women to do. And men. Like, some of y'all men, y'all need to take a break. <laughs> Put that dick away, honey, okay? For it fall off. But, um... I just didn't really... So, I have been single. I don't see nothing wrong with people being single. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with people being single at all. Uh, my problem is when they bring it to the internet and try to justify their reasons for being single, I felt as though I need to be selfish and be in my own energy. But I'm pretty sure you was out here dating. And f and leading a whole bunch of dudes on. We don't ever add that part. Talking to multiple men and leading them on. Knowing that you want to be single, but reaping the benefits of dudes trying to court you. Fellas, fellas, I'm, I'm telling y'all, fellas, we need to, we need, we need to change the narrative. 
we need to flip the script. And this is coming from a married man. We need to flip the script, fellas. I don't, I don't know. We Listen, get in shape, nigga. Discipline yourself. No longer concern yourself with the flesh. I sound like motherfucking Jesse Jackson, but no longer concern yourself with the flesh because that's how they got us. They know that if they show some cheeks, look, she came on here. We can see her titties bungee jumping out of her damn blouse. They know that if they show some skin, they got us. They show a little bit cheeks, they got us. They they wave the kitty in front of our face, you know. Hey, kitty, 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 hey, kitty, kitty. They know they got us, fellas. Fellas, let's change the narrative. What about when adults employ misgenders you so intentionally? Sorry, while, he's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you want to take it personal, that's also... Well, she did do it oh. intentionally. Oh, like she can't ain't playing. You said she and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Ooh. Okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. What about when adults... Ooh! Get that boy a raise! Get that boy a raise! He ain't say no... He ain't say not one curse word, but he put them word gymnastics together crazy. I have full authority to escort you out the airport. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Man, you know what? I, I'm not even going to talk about... I'm not even going to talk about the people no more. I, I, I don't want no problems. Okay. One thing I found out, going viral, and this is a secret and it's not out yet, but... That's why y'all glad y'all got me. When we on the internet, when we on social media, and we see a negative comment or we see negative comments, when we respond, we think we responded to a person. It's not a person. It's a bot. This AI has been collecting data, and it knows that somebody is more likely to get captured and stay on the social engine if it is negativity. So we think we got all these haters and all these people that think so bad about us. No, it's a robot. It's a robot that's trying to keep you on social media and get you to engage. It's all about you. And then on top of that, not only is it trying to engage you, but it's trying to get other people that come to the post. And it's trying to, like, sheep mentality. Like, look at all these people saying bad stuff. Don't you want to say bad stuff, too? It's trying to, it's trying to persuade you. It's trying to get you having the same perspective as a fucking robot. It's trying to take your essence, your organicness away from you. So don't get on and see a whole bunch of comments and think that's what everybody thinking. It's a bot. And don't be arguing with these bots in 2024, baby. It's not real. I never thought about it like that. But now all these negative comments are bots. It's some very bitter people out there. I've came across a lot of comments and I'd be like, damn. I've responded to people. I got to stop responding. But I did respond to this lady. She was coming at me. She said I was fat. I had a gut. She said, uh, it was like, canceled? Who are you to be canceled? Now, I, I really wanted to go in and say, bitch, but I, you know, I didn't do that. Then, um, what else she said? Oh, yeah, she's like, you got a gut, you're fat, who would want you? You got to humble yourself. And it's crazy that she said that shit, because I've already been working out. You know what I'm saying? I plan on boxing next year, so I've already been training and stuff like that. And then one of my subscribers like, responded to the comment and was like, bro, stop responding to these cloud chasers. And then he, like, sent me a, a link in my Instagram to her page. And the crazy thing is, like, bro, she used to be big as hell. Like, she used to be big as hell, bro. Shout out to her for losing weight. But it's kind of like, how dare you call me fat 
and I'm nowhere near how big you used to be. You feel me? I could, yo, why does my stuff keep going off? I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I saw the, um, I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I went through her page. So it'd be crazy, bro. You gotta, I don't know if any of y'all plan on, you know, doing YouTube or doing Instagram or just becoming an influencer. That's something you have to get used to. Because these people out here be bitter as hell. They they really need a punching bag. Like, you see, I got my little punching bag back here. These folks really be going online and trying to use you as a punching bag. Now, it's up to you if you're going to let them. Or you, you can just ignore them. Like, you can just block them or you can just laugh. Like me, I laugh about it because... You clicking my video, you just paid me, okay? So thank you 